In February of this year, shortly after taking office, actually, Marjorie Taylor Greene was stripped of her committee assignments over past inflammatory remarks that she had made about several members of Congress where she openly advocated for violence against these individuals. And not only did every Democrat vote to strip her of committees, 11 Republicans also voted along with them. And this week, as we all know, uh, oh, actually last week, I guess it was at this point, uh, Representative Paul Gosar was voted uh, stripped of his committee. Two Republicans voted with all the Democrats to strip him of his committees. But don't worry, because Kevin McCarthy, the House Minority Leader, has now come out and said, if Republicans win the midterms next year, both of these two wacko extremists are totally getting their committee assignments back. Marjorie Taylor Greene has actually been boasting about this fact, telling everyone that McCarthy has been assuring her for quite some time that if they take that house back in the midterms, she's back on her committees. And oh boy, how dangerous is this going to be? Think about it this way. Marjorie Taylor Greene has been an exceptionally, you know, uh, volatile, I think is the word, <laughs> member of Congress this year. But she has been able to do all of that, become extremist, become a household name without even being on a committee, with having no power to actually speak of in the House of Representatives. So what's going to happen when this woman actually gets on committees once again and can really start to wreak some havoc there? Gosar, on the other hand, you know, has been on committees up until a week and a half ago. So we know what he can and cannot do. He's actually, in spite of his extremism, he is not, you know, as I guess out there as people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, but he is still an extremist. He is still obviously via that anime video, uh, depicting himself committing violence against democratic members of the house of representatives. But these are not the kind of people we want to have more power. And I think that's something that the Democratic Party needs to start talking about today because McCarthy has already made it public. He's giving them back their assignments. So start running ads, start showing their tweets, start showing their actions. Talk about how bad these individuals are and let people know that they can stop them from getting any kind of power back by not letting Republicans take control of the House of Representatives. To me, it's very clear at this point what we're dealing with. Okay, we have one party, the Democrats, that, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to do some good things. It gets watered down. They've got corporatists in there. And yes, they take corporate money and that is horrible. And these people are, you know, not working as hard as they could to benefit the American public. What, are we, what do we have on the other side? On the other side, we have representatives who are openly advocating violence against Democrats. We have a Republican party that is celebrating someone who killed two liberal leftists, whatever you want to call them, protesters, celebrating that hero for them, lifting him upon their shoulders. Matt Gates a week ago said, maybe I want to give him a job as a congressional intern. You have one side that is okay with death and murder and killing political enemies and another side that isn't very good at giving you all the things that we need. Now, which one of those parties seems like the better one? And yes, I know, oh, we need more choices. I hear that all the time. And I agree with you on that, but right now we don't have it. So you can either choose between the party that's giving us a little bit of what we need or the party that wants you dead. I think that's a no brainer. And those really will be the two choices as we approach next year's midterms. Trust me, I am not happy with the performance of the Democratic Party this year, but I am even less happy with the performance of the Republicans. And, you know, I, I recently did an interview on the Ring of Fire podcast with Chauncey De Vega, and we talked about the fact that nobody is safe if these people take over. We have seen the way that they want to attack their political enemies. We have seen that they're okay with violence against their political enemies, that they're okay with murder of their political enemies. If you think you're not at risk, if you think you're safe, trust me, you are wrong. That's what's at stake in next year's midterms. 
And it begins with them putting these extremists, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar, back on their committees.